Hello there. I want to talk about something which interests us both. Selling. Now, when you, as retailers, sell a tin of paint across the counter, it's the final scene in quite a long story. Basically, there are three lots of people concerned, and I have some rather gay little symbols here to represent them. There are the people who make the paint, the people who we hope will use it, and you, the retailer, the vital link between them. Now, both of us, the manufacturer and the retailer, spend a great deal of time and money with a certain end in view. The exchange of a tin of paint for money across the counter. Satisfaction of the customer and profit to us. But you and I know there's a lot more to selling than just sticking a tin of paint in the shop window and hoping somebody who wants paint will come along and buy it. And here's where another factor comes in. Advertising. In its crudest form, I suppose you could call this advertising. Dulux is best. Buy it from blogs. Dulux is best. Buy it from blogs. Well, that might work with some of the public. And again, it might not. The trouble is that this is not just one person. This little symbol represents all the public. Some of them like the breezy idea or the clever pun. Some like their advertisement funny. Some serious. Some cryptic. Some puzzling. Some sly. And some quite straightforward. The object of good advertising is honest communication. We have a good product and we want the public to know about it. In order to get our idea across, it must be designed to fit in with the rhythm of the public's mentality. And this rhythm is always changing, so we must change our advertising approach too. Of course, the good ad man will always find a way of getting his idea over. However, these days, advertising is becoming something of a science. And the first thing is to find out more about the paint market and the habits of homeowners and decoration, to feel the customer's pulse, as it were. Some exercises require us to ask questions of the man in the street. This scene is becoming quite familiar these days. Market testing is normally worked on a door-to-door -door canvas in selected districts in several parts of the country. The questionnaire itself is pretty thorough in its search for background knowledge to paint usage. Having collected as much market knowledge as we can, the next stage is to organize a number of conferences with our advertising agents. A brief is prepared, and the agency sets to work on media schedules involving TV, the press, and outdoor publicity. Media-wise, we have selected press, TV, and posters. In the press, we have a choice of national daily newspapers and weekend newspapers. We have a choice of magazines, Home Lovers, Women's, and Handeman's publications. On TV, we have a choice of peak, off-peak, weekly or weekend showings in many regions. There's also the question of the number of commercials to be produced. The mechanics of creating an advertisement can be extremely complicated. The story has to be evolved, and the shape, style, and general presentation must be groomed to fit the advertising need. All this must tie in with the frequency of appearance, whether press or television. In short, the contents and general tenor of the publicity drive has to be hammered out so as to acquaint the public with our product and service as efficiently as possible. With all this in mind, the agency's creative department strives to find one more golden formula in words and pictures to attract, inform, and persuade the customer that Dulux is indeed best.
Meanwhile, ICI's publicity department is organizing the color cards, perhaps the most vital item in the entire complex, display aids, point of sale material, and window dressing for those retailers who are interested. Yes, it's a lot of work. If we're lucky, we'll reach a large proportion of the 17 and a half million households that make up the British market. Unfortunately, we'll never know how our advertising affects each member of the public. But this is the way we hope and think it may. Here then is just one young couple. Let's see if they react the way we want them to. I can't think how you talked me into doing this. Well, it was your own idea. Get a green car, you said. I'll help you polish it. Mm, well, I must have been mad. Still, I must say, it looks jolly nice, doesn't it? Now, I wish we could get a gloss like on the front door. So do I. On all the doors, in fact. But you never would. Well, why not? To get a gloss like this with an ordinary paint. Too much dirt about for a start. Mm. Mm. <laughs> You've made a good job of that. Does look nice, doesn't it? We've just finished. You look as if you're going to be busy, too. You're telling me. Uh, the kitchen and the hall, uh, that's just for a start. You'll be showing us all up <laughs> and give Val ideas. <laughs> ah, yes, well, cheerio. Bye-bye. Bye. Well, come on, darling. I want some tea. Bye. Right. You know, it really could do with some paint, Mike. It does look pretty awful. Now, come on, before you find something else to do. <laughs> all right. There are my cigarettes. I've been looking everywhere for them. Huh. Have a cup of tea. No, thanks, darling. Thanks. Oh, Mike, look. Isn't that the paint that Mr. Jenkins was carrying? Oh, yes. Oh, snap. Oh, yes. Hm. Darling, why don't we do our house this year? I knew it. Just because old Jenkins next door is going to do it. Oh, well, come on. We can take the car and go down to the shop. Look, there's a new decoration centre down on the corner. We've got time. What can we possibly do in half an hour? Don't argue. Come on. Oh, all right. Come on. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Can I help you? Yeah. Well, we were thinking of redecorating and we'd rather like some advice. Uh, inside or outside paintwork, madam? Um. Well, both. Yes, but you'll never do it all in one go. Take a little at a time. Oh, yes, we will. I'll do the outside. There you are, you see. There's something else you've left yourself in for. <gasps> now, actually, of course, you're quite right. We shall have to tackle it in bits. What we really want to do is just to choose the colours. Well... You've left it a little late in the evening. But I can give you some colour cards to look at over the weekend. You want to give it a bit of thought, you know. It takes planning. I don't know what um, paint you had in mind. Oh, we were thinking of, what's it called? Dulux. Yes. And you couldn't make a better choice. Dulux and Dulite for outside and in. The last couple who were in bought so much Dulite, I should think they're painting the whole street. <laughs> well, I suppose all paints are the same. It's the colours that are really important. Ah. Well, I think this will help you there, madam. What is it? That is the Dulux Color Planner. It's very convenient. It's a quick guide to choosing colors to match or harmonize with the furnishings you already have. Look, you place the planner on the carpet, or against the curtains, or in the chair, according to the strongest color or the most important color in your room. Let's take the carpet. Find the color on the planner, which is the nearest to the colour you want to match. Stick a pencil through the hole, turn the planner over, and there you will find four numbers. These refer to the schemes listed here. Then you find the colours on the colour card. Hmm. That's a neat idea. Hmm. But who works out the colours in the first place? Well, design experts at the colour advisory department of the ICI Paints Division. Yes, but how do they know what the housewife wants? Ah, because they spend a lot of time finding out. Besides, 
There are four schemes for each colour. Here are the details. Now, each scheme is different, but they're all perfect if you follow out the complete specification. Now, well, that ought to settle a few arguments. Uh, can we take this? Yes, of course, sir. Oh, and this might help you, madam. This is my own folio of colour schemes. I cut them out of the glossy magazines. Mm, what a lovely idea. They're gorgeous, aren't they? I'm afraid I can only lend it to you because I use it all the time in the shop. Oh, how nice of you. Thank you very much. Of course, I'll bring it back. Thank you. I don't expect you'll actually use any of these schemes, but you may find them useful. But my advice is, stick to the planner. Well, thank you very much. You've been most helpful. Mm -hmm. We'll come and see you again after the weekend. <laughs> I don't know. We seem to have so many bits of paper and so many colours here. I just don't know what to choose from. Mm -hmm. I seem to have let myself in for painting every weekend. You know, the man in the shop was quite right. We must tackle it in bits. I suppose we must do the outside first before the bad weather comes. It looks as though you can use Delight and Martian paint for outside walls as well. From white to precious pastel greens, blues and yellows. I can't see us getting away with pastel paint. I don't know. Why not? I mean, after all, once we start, others might follow. Yeah, and they might not. Oh, dear. Talk about the conservative male. Well, but if I had suggested paint, you'd be the first one to say pastel paint. Don't be silly. I don't know. Why well, would be rather smart? Hmm. A white house with blue windows and a yellow door and gate. No, yellow windows and a red door. What about green windows and a grey door? Oh, no. That'd show the neighbours up. Well, it says in one of the pamphlets. Make your house the proudest in the street. And what would Mr. Jenkins do? Have a dividing line down the middle. Us white and him drab stucco. Well, that would be up to him. Perhaps he'd copy us later. Oh, why not cooperate with him? Mm -hmm. no, why not cooperate with him? Hey, that's an idea. A pair of white houses. I mean, we could have different colours on the woodwork. Well, not if we had green windows and he had blue. Oh, fancy you having so much colour, then. Still, it's a good idea, of course. We could talk with old Jenkins later. Dewlight Emotion takes the rough with the smooth. Dewlight Emotion paint made by ICI. Outside or inside, easy spreading Dewlight covers quickly, gives lasting protection. And Dewlight dries in a day. Paint in the morning, party at night. Inside or outside, dew light covers quickly, dries quickly. We make sure of it at ICI. You can rely on dew light, Britain's best-selling emulsion paint. They must have heard us. Was that an ICI leaflet you were reading from? Mm -hmm. Do you like emulsion paint? I oh, remember not to use it. Well, you want some of those so just because it's an advertisement. Well. Now, what about my kitchen and this room? Mm. Oh, it seems that every paint is good for kitchens and bathrooms. I must say, I rather like these frost tint colours. It's a much bigger range than many of the others. Won't have a look. Hmm? Oh, it'd take all week to choose from a card this size. Besides, I'm not in the mood anymore. Oh, I think I'm going to give up tonight as well. beginning to move out of the way. You match the colour up, bathrooms. I must say, I rather like these frost tint colours. It's a much bigger range than many of the others. Won't have a look. Hmm? Oh, it'd take all week to choose from a card this size. Besides, I'm not in the mood anymore. Oh, I think I'm going to give up tonight as well.
Cigarette, darling? Oh, bless you, thank you. Mm. What are you doing? I was having a look at these colours, look. Mm. Things are beginning to move <laughs> out of the way. You match the colour up on here. Mm. Sort of tones of the things you've got, the wall and the curtains. Well, what are we going to keep? We're going to have the chair, are we? Mm. Uh, which one? Oh, I think one of those. That one. That one? Yeah. Right. Thank you, sir. Okay. Really work. Ask your paint shop for a colour planner. It's free. You can rely on Dulux, Britain's best-selling paint. Thank you. Oh, by the way, my husband and I have decided to take your advice. We're going to use Dulux. Well, I'm very glad. I've always recommended I say our paints. You see, they have the advantage of such a tremendous amount of know-how. That's why, in my opinion, you can't need Dulux. Well, it's a comforting thought, isn't it? Because, um, well, paint's no small item on the family budget, is it? Well, that depends on how you look at it, madam. After all, good paint lasts and puts value on any property. Oh, by the way, um, this little colour chart that you gave me is um, very neat and handy for my bag, but I was wondering if you had something, well, a little bit bigger that I could have a look at. Oh, yes. We've got these wall charts and mm. these counter folders. Oh, lovely. Oh, that's wonderful. Now, if you take that to the window and look at it in daylight, mm. you'll see the true colours. But in artificial light, you'll see the colours vary slightly. Now, fluorescent lighting again has a different effect. Yellows become stronger, and so do greens sometimes depending on the type of fluorescent lighting you're using. So it's a good thing to bear this in mind before you make your final selection of colours. Well, that's a very useful point. I wonder how many women know about that. Well, thanks for the useful tip. Not at all, madam. It's good that you should know as much as you can about it, and that's what we're here for. Well, thank you very much indeed, and I'll be off now. Oh, my husband and I will come back in a day or two when we've decided on the colour and we'll order the paint. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> Many little impacts are beginning to build up. Perhaps she isn't yet absolutely crazy about Dulux. She's probably wondering what to give her husband for supper. But the advertisements are beginning to work on her subconscious. White, do light, um, three gallons, right? Turquoise blue. Turquoise blue. Um, oh, let's say a quart. Yes, right. And um, jasmine yellow. Jasmine yellow. Um, what do you think? Mm. A two pint? pint? No, two, two pints. pints, all right. Two pints. Good afternoon. Oh, good afternoon. Well, we've eventually made up our minds which colours we want. I've made a list of them here. I think those are the right quantities. Dulux and Dulux. Mm. That's good. Well, I expect they're as good as any other. I must say that colour planner makes life a lot easier. Yes. Seen one or two advertisements, too, must be a go-ahead firm. It's a pretty big firm, isn't it? Not too big to produce the finest paint that money can buy. Well, there you are. They're getting on with the painting. I don't suppose they'll do it all this year. But the point is they're satisfied with the results and they'll go on painting. There's the spare room, the hall, the bedroom. And they've persuaded Jenkins to join in on the outside colour scheme. So now we'll have two more satisfied customers. The young couple and Jenkins. And that's how things grow. <laughs> 